So as you see in automation, right, you can select here and then go with the option of scripts. So under scripts, you can select a lot of options like this, where you can write your own scripts. And we have about built in 20 scripts. So in case of scripts that we talk, you know, when we talk about the automation, I mean, as a subject, it's, it's pretty small and pretty vast to the nature and the use case that you want to build. But with that, you know, we haven't kept any limitations. We, we haven't made it functional. It is pretty open that you can write your own script if you know PowerShell, if you know batch commands, if you know VB script on Windows platform, you can write your own. And on Linux, if you know shell scripting or bash scripting, you can actually go ahead and put those commands here and automate your stuff. Now, it totally depends on what your use case is, how big is your environment, and what are you expecting out of it. So, with that said, you know, once you have scripts, scripts can actually be run on system on demand. So if I were doing a troubleshooting and I was clearing up the temp files on every computer every third week or every fifth week, I may not need to do the commands again and again. I can just write a script, come down to the script section and run the script as I needed with built-in scripts. So doing the scripting on one was on demand, but now I have the need to actually do a a task or automation task to affect or update or you know I would say roll back changes on about a hundred of systems maybe 50 systems 25 systems whatever the number is right but that has to happen in a certain fashion that we actually go ahead and programmatically define first so we go ahead and create a task we go to scripts we pick up a script from the category like this either built-in or either install software or either scripts of that nature, right? And then go ahead and define these options here. So I can click on clean up temporary files, clean up browser cache, clean up DNS cache and stuff like that. Then click on overview, right? When we click on overview like that, we can actually go ahead and specify these options like this. So as you see, elevated or normal. And then I select the subscope or the scope that I want to run it on the group of systems. Now keep that in mind. The scripting is pretty powerful in its nature because you can literally put the intelligence what a technician does in terms of doing the proactive action, the action and the post maintenance activities. So a good example to show you. If you were to patch your systems traditionally as a tech, you know, we always prepare the systems. We, we prepare ourselves for a plan B, right? If in case the patching doesn't go well, patch the systems, reboot the systems, and then expect some kind of reporting. Now, wouldn't that be exciting that if Pulseway could automatically do that for you? So let's have a look at that. So if I was a tech, the way I should be putting this across is I should be first clearing up the temp files, clearing the browser cache, clearing the DNS cache, or whatever order I want to put by doing a drag drop, and then creating a restore point on all the systems for a plan B, something like this. Now, when I do that, when I'm patching systems, obviously, they're going to go in a maintenance mode. So I can go ahead and either use the script to enable the maintenance mode on the systems or disable the maintenance mode of the systems is something what I can do. So something like this, enable maintenance mode. Then after that, I can select check and install updates. Once that happens, go ahead and reboot the systems. So something like I can go to scripts, say reboot. And then go back in built-in scripts and say, take the Pulseway agent out of the maintenance mode so that you start getting updates, you start getting email notifications in terms of what's happening on the system after the updates. Now, this looks like a pro programming that we're doing step by step, but this is nothing but the human brain logic that we use in reality to actually go ahead and do patching or some kind of activity, which is, you know, waterfall one after the other, right? Something of that sort of nature. So. I can go ahead and disable uh, Pulseway maintenance mode. So as you see, that logic I, I use in my brain to troubleshoot systems, to patch my systems, I put that in, in the form of an intelligence here in a daisy chain fashion of one falling after the other like domino scripts. And then I can schedule it. So a good use case, if you're an MSP, if you're an IT organization, you've been allocated a task to patch the systems over the weekend, or you need not to spend your whole day sitting in front of the computer. You can actually go ahead and specify the date and time, right? And specify what date you want to start it on and then say discard and then go forward and enable the scheduling and say save task. The moment the time would hit, 
when the server will detect that the time has come, it will push that script across all the systems under the scope that you would have defined and start patching them and start doing those activities one after the other the way we just programmed them.